Give me an excuse to shop. I don't really even need it. Spoiler alert. Hey everyone, today is the day I do my February favorites. Pew. Such a short month, sort of unsatisfying. February, where did you go? February felt like a very long month even though it was short. A lot of things happened. Did a lot of things happen to you? Are you okay? I'm mostly okay. As I'm filming this, it's not completely over, so we'll see. First up, I have a liquid eyeliner by Wet n Wild. It's called the Mega Liner Liquid Eyeliner and the shade is called A Case of Blue. This is from their Spring 2016 collection and you can find that at Walgreens. I'm not sure where else they actually sent me this, but I've also seen with my eyes the collection at Walgreens, so you can get it there. I know sometimes Wet n Wild, especially like their limited edition collections are tricky to find, which is annoying because they're usually amazing, like this liner. A ton of you commented on this liner because in the last clip of my Nail Her Nail review, it was a crazy video and it kind of was like, okay, this is the longest video ever. No one's even gonna see the last clip. Everyone's gonna like fall asleep by then, but a lot of you made it and a lot of you noticed that I was wearing this liner. I was wearing like a black wing with a blue wing accent kind of situation, double liner. Oh yeah. And you guys loved it and I loved it. It was actually the first time that I'd ever done it with this product and it's just super pigmented, super easy to use. I wish it was a little easier to find, but it's totally worth it if you do find it. Wet n Wild is always amazingly inexpensive. If you're into that kind of thing, you better get this. Also, I am hearing you guys, a ton of you requested a tutorial for that eye look and I can definitely do that. I will work on it very soon, so keep an eye out. It's actually really easy. Next up, I have a nail polish favorite. I feel like I haven't had a nail polish favorite in a really long time. This is Essie's Virgin Snow and it's just kind of a extremely, extremely pale pastel kind of lavendery blue. I wore it on my nails for like three weeks before I did the whole review journey of the stiletto nails. I don't know if you watch that, you should watch it. I know I've already mentioned it. I will mention it again. I threw my life into that, so I'm really hoping people like it and appreciate it. But I wore this for like three weeks before I tried that and then I'm back to it already because I love it so much. It's just like a really pretty like icy, I think it's actually a part of like their winter collection maybe. I will check that and put the information down below. I'm sure you can still find it because I didn't get it all that long ago. What I'm trying to say is I love it and you might love it too. And next up, a sample. I got this from Sephora ooh, a long time ago. It's a fragrance by Replica and it's called Lazy Sunday Morning. I kind of like made friends with the lady that was in the front fragrance department, fra fragrance, and she was like, oh, you like these? And like whipped up five samples, like little baby samples. And this one is definitely my favorite. I really, really, really want to buy the full size. I know I've been on the alien train for years at this point. And I typically use that one like on a daily basis, but this one has worked its way into my heart. Lazy Sunday morning, what do you even smell like? I don't know how to describe smells. It's so difficult. It's just like really fresh, but also kind of homey, like a lived in kind of smell. It like smells like someone's bed, like someone that smells good, their bed takes on their smell, but it's also kind of like a homey, not dirty, but like lived in. That is probably actually a really unappealing way to describe this. Excuse me, I will uh, put better terms right here. Don't listen to what I said. These are the facts. This is the truth. It is an amazing smell and it's what I smell like right now. If you come to BeautyCon in Dallas and we meet, that's what I'll smell like. Spoiler alert. That was weird, huh? Next up, a new lip product by ColourPop. It is the Ultra Satin Lip. They sent me a whole bunch of these and a whole bunch of their lip liners and this color is Echo Park. I love it. I had already put out my like favorite nudie mauves top 10 list video, but if I had had this for a little bit of time before I had filmed that video, I totally would have included this. It's what I have on my lips right now. I love the consistency. It's super pigmented, really easy to put on. Obviously, this is like an easy everyday kind of color. That's what I like. Y'all know my pickiness about liquid lipsticks and how they wear this one. 
It does transfer, it doesn't stay on for your entire life. But you know what? Sometimes that's a good thing. Sometimes that looks so much better than like crusty, crackety lips. This was sent straight from heaven. And this is my favorite color, though there are many, many, many colors. And next up, this is the Olaplex Hair Perfector number three. Use once a week between chemical services to strengthen hair. I never read that it said once a week because I've done more than once a week. Oops. I bought this from my hairstylist, Chelsea. You guys met her in past hair videos, like my lavender transformation video. She's a hair color genius, uh, and she uses this whenever she lightens my hair. And I had actually read about it before she used it on me, and I asked her about it, and she was like, uh, yeah, I have it. And so I was like, oh, you're amazing. But there is an Olaplex product that you use whenever you're lightening hair, and it decreases the damage by so much. I have been feeling like my hair is like in really bad shape lately. And, and that's actually because of that time that I got my hair colored at the end of last year. Maybe it was around like September. I don't know, I did a whole vlog about it and it was like worst hair day ever. Uh, it was just <sighs> bad things happened that day and I wasn't even, I wasn't even aware of how bad the situation was whenever I recorded that. And I was trying to like, I don't know, not downplay it, but be positive and optimistic about it. Um, but yeah, it, that definitely contributed to like a lot of hair breaking. So I've been really, really worried about it. If you didn't see that vlog, I went to someone new that had never done my hair before. I will link it down below if you're curious about it. Um, it was not Chelsea who did my hair at that time, um, but she has shown me the way with Olaplex and I think this is really, really helping me. It's at least giving me like peace of mind because I feel like my hair is like so fragile right now and I'm feeling pretty sad about it. Next up, I have another lip product favorite. I talked about this in my recent Ulta haul. This was definitely my absolute favorite product from that whole haul. It is the NYX Ombre Lip Duo and the color name is Rags and Riches. We have like a super dark kind of cranberry raspberry wine color and it's the liner. And then on the opposite end, it's more of like a creamy rosy mauve tone and you're supposed to line the lips with the darker color and then use the lighter color just in the center and then mix them up and it gives you like a little ombre lips for dummies and it's super easy to use. I just love this color combination. Obviously you can probably find lip colors in your collection that would match this and you could recreate the look without buying this, but I just thought it was so cool that this came together. Unfortunately, I have not made it back to Ulta and I haven't bought more of these, but I definitely want to. Should I do a video on them? I really, really want to halfway just because it's like an excuse to go and buy every single color. So let me know because I'm down to do it. And next up, a brow pencil. I bought a brow pencil, a new, a new, new, new brow pencil at Ulta, and it was a new product and everything, and I tried to use it for a while, and I just didn't really like it. I wouldn't go as far as to like say it's an unfavorite, but it just wasn't doing it for me. And in the meantime, this was sent to me. It is the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Brow 3-in-1 Brow Sculpting Pin, and this is in number 20. And it's just like a really nice taupe brow pencil and the shape is just kind of like a thin, do you see this? It's like a thin slanty, slanty thin kind of thing. It's definitely easy to work with and the product comes off like really easy. That's one issue that I have with brow pencils is sometimes they're too hard and I'm like, oh, 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 for like 50 years and nothing is coming off. And, but this one, oh, works so easily and I've had like large and in charge brows lately because of this pencil. This is the only product I have on my brows now and I'm just absolutely loving it. On the opposite end, you have like a really soft spoolie. Since I've been using a lot of different products that have like spoolies attached or spoolies in the packaging, I have become a little bit picky about what kind of spoolies I use and if they're too rough, I don't like them or too big or I now have a very specific spoolie preference. This one is really soft, it's really small 
and I like it a lot. Now the super interesting unexpected part of this product is this. You twist the middle and there's like a little kind of pencil brush shaped sponge and this is the highlight. It is a brow highlight and you probably cannot see what I'm swatching right here, but it comes within the product. Um, I feel a little bit like this is gimmicky, but I have used it and it does work. Um, more than anything out of this product, I appreciate the actual pencil part. Okay, unfortunately, I don't have any unfavorites. I always feel like I'm like letting y'all down when I don't have unfavorites because, I mean, I don't know, I always really like to hear about things people don't like. Is that just negativity running through my veins? I hope not, but I do always really appreciate that. I don't have any now, but I promise I'll hate something next month. I'll just, I'll just try really hard to hate something, okay? Okay. Okay, so a few highlights for February. I know I mentioned this last month, but I'm gonna throw it in again. I'm gonna throw it in again this month because it was really, I don't know, it made me feel really special. Uh, Channel 13 here in Houston did a story about Houston YouTubers and I got to be a part of it and so did Bunny, so it was really cool. And then there was another guy and it just felt really good and like kind of validating in a way. I was happy, I was proud of it. I was really nervous about how it was gonna turn out, but I didn't look as stupid as I assumed I would. Uh, so that was good, that was pretty magical. By the way, these are magical moments. I don't think I said that. Also, there are like so many people out there, can you not? Stop it, stop looking at me. Number two, I got to do something really cool and special. I was asked to be on a panel at my college, not my co the college that I graduated from, and talk to and answer questions from students that were in my major. That was just super, super exciting for me, and like, I don't know, like, it's a small thing, but it was a big deal to me, so that was cool. Also, just to throw this in here, Valentine's Day. I made a whole video about like my worst Valentine's Day story time or whatever, which rubbed a lot of people the wrong way. I'm so sorry. But I wanted to report and tell you that my Valentine's Day was not horrible. Just letting you know, not horrible. I really hope you guys had an awesome month. What were you loving this month? Let me know down below any new products that I need to try. Give me an excuse to shop. I don't really even need it. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you wanna keep up with all my new videos. I hope you do. If you have already subscribed, thank you so much. You are my people and I love you. And if you wanna find me anywhere else on the internet, I will put the links in the description and over here and stuff. And it's Leanne Says Everywhere, so come say hey. I'd love it if you did. And yeah, as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone. What is it, Luna? People, stop it. Luna, stop. I have a nail polish, nail polish. So that works out. Not my favorite thing that's ever happened to me. She's on my mouth. face. She's on my face. Mm. That's not a good song. Okay. She's on my face. <laughs> it was like an aggressive song. She's on my face. <laughs> we just want to make this a musical. Uh, oh, this is like.